Are you a player who struggles with hooking the golf ball and hitting shots looking like this? If so, in this video, I'm going to share my favorite drill to stop you hooking it and get you back on track. So let's get into it. Welcome back to the channel guys, I'm Danny Malcolm. Thanks so much for joining me in today's video. Today I'm going to be talking about how to stop the dreaded hook. Before I do, these videos aren't really planned, but I like to share things that just come up on a day-to-day -day basis that I feel you, the viewers, could benefit from. Now, the slice is the most common problem that I tend to see, but in the past week or two, I've seen a lot of clients who've really been struggling with the hook. So I just wanted to share my favorite first sort of go-to drill to help a player understand why they're hooking it and one of the quickest way to get them to stop hooking it. Now, why are we hooking it? Well, you've got two key components. Assuming that we're getting a, a pretty good strike out the middle of the face, a hook is going to then tend to come from the club path and the club face being in these two positions here. So you've got this one here is a club path aiming to the right. So my club is traveling to the right through impact this way for right-handed player, but the club face, so if the white's the club path, the club face relative to that path is closed a lot. So it's not just a little bit closed, that would be more of a draw, but it's closed a lot. So you've got an excessively closed club face relative to the club path, and that's gonna give you that hard hook to the left that can go anywhere, uh, can get you into a lot of trouble. So I'll demonstrate that again. So I just did one earlier on, but that is when I'm swinging from in to out, out to the right, right handed player with that club face aiming left, and you're gonna get that sharp hook to the left. Not a good shot to hit. So what we need to do is the opposite of that to find somewhere in the middle. So what I mean, if you think of two ends of a, of a spectrum here and you've got on this side, you've got a player that's super hooking it, hitting big sharp hooks to the left, and on this side, you've got a player that's hitting big slices. And somewhere in the middle is a pretty straight to neutral shot. So if you're a player that's hooking it excessively over here, we need to give you some ingredients from the slice side. So we need to get you feeling like you're really slicing the golf ball to then get you somewhere closer to the middle. So with this drill, one of my absolute favorites, what we're going to try and do with this is basically flip those numbers and get the club path from being positive, excessively positive to excessively negative, and then get the club face to be open or positive relative to that path. So on track man, positive is always out to the right, negative is always to the left. So my favorite drill here, you can grab yourself an alignment rod if you're playing on grass, or if not, you can use something like the swing plate here. Pop an alignment rod in just about a grip's width or so in front of your golf ball. So I'm just gonna pop this in here. And just lean that slightly forward, just for safety reasons there. Okay, and the whole goal of this drill is to basically get your club path working left of this stick. So get the club traveling left and get your club face open relative to that path. So you wanna get this ball starting right of the stick and get the club swinging left. If you're somebody who hooks it, then you've got the club traveling to the right and you've got the ball traveling to the left. So it looks more like this. That's an excessive hook. So we need to feel the opposite. So grab yourself a six or a seven iron and just start off with some short chips and you want to feel like once you've connected with the ball, the club continues to work around to the left, but with the club face a little bit more passive and a little well, more open to that path. So we're gonna feel the extreme, a club face aiming out there and a club path going in here. So here we go. And let's look at those numbers. So now you see a club path working two degrees to the left with the face open 14 degrees to the right. So that is not hooking there. So we'll do that again. Let's try and exaggerate it even more. Club working further left, face further to the right. There we go. Now, 
I don't want you to start slicing it. We don't want big slices out there, but this is just to get you a feel of what it's like to do the opposite of hooking the golf ball. So once you've done a few short swings like that, then you can start to build it up just a little bit, a little bit further. And just see again, can you get the club working left, face aiming right, great. So once you've done that a few times, you can get rid of that alignment rod and then go into some fuller swings and try and create those same feels. So in practice, you are trying to hit a bit of a fade, a bit of a slice, of course, when you're working on the opposite of a hook. And hopefully that starts to give you an understanding of what you need to do with your club path and your club face to eliminate the hook next time you're out on the golf course and you see those coming in. So remember, there's two extremes. If you're over here on the ho hooking side, you need to feel a bit more of the slice recipes, get some of those ingredients in there to get you somewhere in the middle or at least to soften that hook into a more controlled draw. So I hope that video helped. One of my favorite tips to stop hooking. If you do have any questions on that, please let me know. But otherwise, thank you so much for watching and I look forward to seeing you on the next video.